What's up guys, I'm Justin Davis with IGN, and this is force equals mass times acceleration. Uh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the game's full name. Uh, so what this is, is a first person base jumping game. Uh, and it's actually a lot cooler than it might sound. So, as you can see, you, you sort of control things in the first person, and what I'm doing is I'm tilting my iPad here. And the direction that you tilt is the direction that you fall. Um, this game started as a release on the PC, and uh, it controlled with mouse controls. And it was fun, you know, I owned it and played it quite a bit, but uh, where this game really, really shines on iOS in a way that it didn't on the PC. You know, with tilt controls like this, it just makes a lot of sense. It's actually really intense to hold an iPad or iPhone in front of your face and then tilt the screen back and forth and see the action happening from the first person. You know, I always cringe a little bit when I screw up and accidentally crash into a building. Uh, the goal of each stage is to make it down to the bottom, and hopefully if I don't screw it up here, we'll make it. And uh, after you finish, you're given a score. And uh, you're scored on a handful of things. Let me go to a different stage and see if I can, I can show that off a little bit better. So you're scored based on how many buildings you manage to get close to, and these are called kisses. And you're also scored on how long, like if you were to, to run alongside the side of a building for a length of time, those are called hugs. And so, you know, every round, oh, I crashed. Every round is sort of a balance between trying to get kisses on as many different buildings as you can and trying to hug alongside a building for a lengthy, uh, a lengthy period of time. Uh, it's very fun. The tilt controls work great. And, uh, yeah, I just think Force Equals Mass Times Acceleration is a game that's really been a revelation on iOS. Um, you know, it, it started life on the PC and sort of came and went quickly. And now on the iPad, you know, people are sort of seeing that, hey, this, this title is uh, a lot better than it might have at first peered, appeared to be. Um, yeah, I guess the last thing that jumps out at me about this is that the game really has a great sense of speed. You know, as you're accelerating downward in the first person, you know, trying to get as close to these buildings as possible without actually crashing. Um, it's great, lots of games try to make people feel like they're, you know, either racing quickly or falling quickly. And uh, this game from Deja Bond Games does a better job than most. Uh, Four sequels Mass Times Acceleration is available for $2.99 for uh, iPhone and iPad. Uh, if you have any questions about this game, feel free to hit me up on Twitter. Uh, I'm at Justin, or keep it locked on IGN for more on all the hot iOS games.